Hello and welcome back to our Iron Man challenge in Freeman. Now, what I've done is I went to the barracks at the nearby town of Smolyanka, which we just took from the Uman Brotherhood, and I recruited a whole bunch of units without equipment, because of course, if you recruit them with equipment, they're going to be, well, very expensive. And so what I've been attempting to do is try and get as much equipment as possible. And I ran into, on my journey, Harkon, yes, Harkon, and we are going to try and capture him if at all possible. Now, of course, I am actually with Ludmila here, and, uh, well, obviously she is running around somewhere, doing something, but uh, we're just going to run straight to the enemy, because there are only six of them. It's going to be pretty easy for us to eliminate him in this situation, but, uh, of course, as I've said, there are a couple of units that do not have weapons and do not have any equipment whatsoever because I have literally just recruited them and haven't gotten into any fights until this one since that time. So hopefully we will be able to do something about that. Also, by the way, I did just finish up uh, doing the last little bit of Finn's quest. And Finn's quest is, of course, to plunder... A huge amount of villages, well, five of them, to be to be specific, and I have finally done that. So I will be speaking to Finn after this and making him a general of ours, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get something from that. I am kind of a bit weirded out that I can't see any of the uh, any of the enemies right here. I'm not entirely sure what's uh, what's actually going on because there's only six of them. I think I would be able to spot them pretty easily, considering I basically ran straight here. But oh well, I guess we'll search around a little bit. Alright, so there you go, there was the end of the fight. Uh, they were off in the very edge of the map, and it took me a long time to actually get over there anyway, so it's kind of annoying. But otherwise, let's just take a little bit of loot here. Not going to take anything else, and there is Harkon, who we are going to imprison. There we go. Fantastic. So let's go and uh, speak to Finn right now because we can actually hire him. There we go. Quest is now complete. And I would like to be able to hire Harkon as well. Actually, wait a minute. I could just bribe him. Ah, bribe gives us compliance. Ah, oh, I see. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to try to hire him. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that just yet. Ah, yes. I need to get 100 compliance before I ask to hire him and then he'll give me the quest. I actually forgot about that. Oh, well. Not a big deal, not a big deal, because we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of prisoners going forward here anyway, because usually there are a bunch of looter camps and various other bandits in the area anyway, and they're going to be pretty easy for us to try and deal with. So, here's the thing. I don't really want to fight the Atoll Federation, if I can help it, because they are pretty large, they've got a lot of territories under their belt, and in comparison, the other two factions are not exactly... I mean, they're still quite dangerous, but they are not going to be as dangerous, in my opinion, as the Atoll Federation. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send gifts to the Atoll Federation, and hopefully that is going to uh, cause a little bit of niceties between us. And we're just going to treat all of these units and we are going to hire some more people here. As you can see, I'm just hiring basically everyone that I can get my hands on here at this point. And then we'll just go and sell a bunch of stuff. There we go. Not too bad. I did not want to sell these tools. Thank you very much. Okay, pretty happy with this. Not too bad. And there we go. All right. So, just going to take a look at the gambling here real quick, just to make sure I'm not missing out. Ooh, a VA Val is going to be super nice for us. I'm going to try and gamble for this. Alright, so here we go. After a whole bunch of gambling, I actually went to all of my towns and actually gambled basically every single time I could. And we did get a couple of armor vests. I didn't get anything too special, unfortunately. But, yeah. Anyway, most of my people... <laughs> Most of my new people, shall we say, as you can see right here, some of them are just still running around here without any weapons, which is obviously not great. But most of them do have weapons now, which is pretty good. So hopefully we'll be 
okay with that. Otherwise, I'm just going to turn on my night vision here. We're actually in the middle of raiding a Desert Marauder hideout. And I'm hoping that that will provide us with a good amount of either weapons or armor in some way or another. Now, bear in mind that I actually do have, I think, still vests in my inventory right now that are unable to be equipped by these guys because they are either too low level or they just don't have the armor proficiency at the moment. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do something about that. Otherwise, let's try and shoot some of these enemies, shall we? Yes, nice critical hit right there. I was actually hoping to get that VA Val because I think that's probably going to be a really, really nice weapon for us. But unfortunately, I was unable to. I didn't even get the other weapon either, which was really sad. But, oh well, never mind. I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. I am going to continue actually leveling up my leadership skill because I'm actually maxed out right now. I do not have enough space to field any additional units, which is actually kind of amazing. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. And uh, then we will have a good time. And we are going to receive... Are we going to receive reinforcements? I mean, enemy reinforcements? Are, are they actually going to uh, come in and help their friends? Not entirely sure about that. But otherwise, just going to extend my units into advancing into the camp. And hopefully we'll be okay there. I, I actually quite like the way that the Desert Bandit hideout is formed here because as you can see it's kind of like very mm, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like it's just popped up you know what I mean it's kind of like everyone all, all these bandits have just been like okay so we're just going to put up the tents you know in a decent location and that's how it's going to go instead of it being like a building in the middle middle of the desert you know it's kind of like a, a temporary base which I really quite like for them to have. I feel like that's quite in keeping with what they're attempting to do here, which I think is pretty cool. Otherwise, am I being shot from anywhere else? No, it doesn't seem like it. And there's level 23. Nice. I'm happy with that. I'm going to actually just try and go in here a little bit. Nice headshot. like it's almost I would say probably almost impossible for the shotgun not to kill someone from mid-range is that just me because it seems like that you know it seems like it's just super powerful from mid-range and close range obviously I mean oh there we go it actually didn't kill someone there that's interesting Oh, there we go. I actually did kill someone there. I guess if you aim towards the head area, then you're probably going to have a pretty li pretty likely chance that you'll gain a kill from it. But that's the greatest thing about the shotgun, in my opinion, the fact that it can kill someone so incredibly fast that it just, it just takes them out super quickly. Like that, for example. Look at that. That was a headshot. And it's not, not close range. That was pretty pretty far away you know for a shotgun that's pretty good and I believe what that's it where where are the other enemies I don't know where the other enemies are I guess we're just going to send our, our forces all the way around here and we'll see what we can do well the enemy location has been revealed now oh wow okay I have no idea why why are they over there I have no idea why they're over there. That is kind of weird. I was actually going to walk towards the uh, red arrows right there because I thought they were coming from that direction, but apparently they're coming from the other direction. Okay, interesting. Oh uh, well, whatever the case, my units will be able to deal with this with no problem whatsoever, and maybe I'll just provide them a little bit of cover with my... Well, maybe they don't even need a bit, a bit of cover. Nope, they don't, <laughs> as is quite evident. Okay, yeah, they should be easily able to finish this up. And there we have it, 40,000 credits, 6,200 experience gain, really, really nice. And look at this, oh yeah, we actually even got a scar right here, that's great. That is actually really fantastic, I'm very pleased about this. Okay, so yeah, otherwise, uh, just imprison that guy, and we're going to be going over to our party screen right here. Huge amount of level ups 
to be done. Let's just give these guys all that they can currently wear. Uh, are these all civilian fighters? I might have to let these guys go because the they do not have the best stats. The fe yeah, the female civilian fighter captains are pretty good, but everyone else not so good. So we're gonna just dismiss these. I th actually, you know what? Let's not dismiss them. Let's just put them over here. The captains are good, and the female militia not so much. So we're just gonna leave those there, and. I think we should probably just go like this. Let's just put them into another another squad where they can actually be good. And uh, then we'll just disband this. Can I, can I, yeah, there we go. Disband the squad, there we go, fantastic. And then the militia SMG fighter can just go in there. That's absolutely fine, okay. Yeah, so everyone can now level up. We've got 40,000 only. I mean, it's going to take a huge amount of cash to be able to level all these guys up. But it is going to be worth it in the end, I suppose. But there you go. All right. Uh, yeah, by the way, I have made Finn a general. And I've told him to patrol around Smolyanka. Is that him right there? I actually can't tell whether that's him because I can't... Oh, that, that's Petro, actually. That's Petro. Yeah, I also made Petro a general as well. I thought that would make the most sense. And you know what we're going to do now? We're going to launch an assault against Babin. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. And otherwise I'm going to increase my intelligence one last time. And we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to go for trading, I guess. Because trading... Oh, actually, we can go for all of it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. So I'm perfectly happy with this. Let's go into the merchant here. Sell anything that we don't want. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Anything here for Gamble? Mm, the Groza rifle is the only thing that I would really, really want from this. But, ah, I'm, I'm not really too fussed about it. So, we're just going to wait here for some time. Restore ourselves, restore our troops. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call for a campaign. We're going to tell all of our units to attack Babin at once. And we're going to go in there ourselves as well and see what we can do. All right, so here we go. I have mustered an attack against the Uman Brotherhood. And as you can see, the Cat Federation is absolutely overwhelming them with the scent of catnip in the air. And we are just literally going to... You know, I actually want to go in here. So we're just going to, we're just going to go straight on in here. I don't want to auto-resolve. The main reason why I don't want to auto-resolve is I believe... Not sure if this is right, but I believe you get less money for auto-resolving than if you were to go straight into the fight. So we're just going to go straight in here. All right, so here we go. We're going to be attacking Babin. And we have a bunch of our generals here. I might actually... Wow, okay, yeah. I haven't been in a battle like this for a very long time where there are huge amounts of my own general's units. And you know what? I probably shouldn't have put so many of my own in this battle, to be honest. Because as you can see, there are actually whole squads full of people that don't have weapons at the moment. But that's actually okay, because if we get a huge amount of money from this, I'm not entirely sure if we will, to be honest, because there's only 43 enemies. But if we do get a good amount of cash, then I will be able to buy quite a few weapons and uh, maybe gamble a little bit more as well. I feel like the gambling is probably the most lucrative way of getting really high powered weapons and things so you don't really have to spend that huge amount of cash but i'm hoping that the taxes as well that we gain from the various towns will also help us out in that regard and uh well as you can see uh oh yeah there's actually a lot of enemies there okay well i'm just gonna let my my allies really just charge in there because they are going to be easily able to regather all of their units. And I'm not really going to have to worry about them at all. They can basically just go and do their own thing. I'm actually going to see any enemies around here. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Seems like they're mostly in the center, which is absolutely fine. So I will be able to take this flag without any problems. Oh, Anna's getting a bunch of kills. Very nice to see that. Hmm. 
Well, what else can we do here? Uh, I think the best thing that we can do is try to go around. But that's basically it. Hopefully my allied units will actually decide to move in. I can't command them, bear that in mind. So it is going to have to be all on them if they decide to make their way in. As you can see, I can't target them at all. So nothing nothing to do about it, really. They can, they can just go in or they don't. That's basically it. Let's see if I can... Uh, Maybe sneak around here. Now, bear in mind that I obviously do not want to die, but, well, we've got to take risks. We've got to take risks if we want to get the big payoff. So hopefully, oh, hello. All right, that's pretty good. Not too bad. Got to be a bit careful here. I'm going to stay by the tree, see what we can do. Uh, my units have taken that flag. Hopefully we can move in there and take that other flag. And then I will maybe be able to take this one. But as I've said before, taking the flag is usually... Well, should we say flags? Taking them is usually really only required if you're fighting an overwhelming enemy that really doesn't have any kind of recourse. If you if you can't defeat them any other way, then you can defeat them this way. And uh, that's obviously going to be pretty useful. Got to be a bit careful here. Yeah, we got to be a bit careful here. I'm going to take out my shotgun, I think, because my shotgun's probably going to be more effective with the amount of units that we're currently going to see here. I feel like I should have a full auto shotgun right now. now I have no body armor so it's probably a good idea that I just send my units straight on in there it's kind of weird that they're taking so long to get here to be honest so I'm just going to tell them to charge in because we are in a bit of a tough spot here and I don't really want to die if at all possible Yeah, I can't see anything either. They've used smoke grenades, so that's obviously a bit problematic for us. And we have taken everything over here, so I'm just going to tell our forces just to go straight on in. <laughs> These smoke grenades being pretty, pretty useful for them. Yes, charging them right in was probably not the best idea, right? Oh well, never mind. Yep, only one enemy remaining, and done. There we go, 55,000, that's really nice. 11,000 experience, very, very good. Oh yes, and look at all of these weapons. This is great. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Really, really nice. And we're gonna take some wood as well because we need that to, for construction. Don't really mind so much about the iron or the tools or anything like that. And the, uh, well, there you go. Everyone has now uh, garrisoned this, which is fantastic. I can actually go in here if I want to, and I will be able to take units out if I want to or whatever the case may be. Now what we're going to say is we're going to say to all of my companions to attack Berezno next and they can probably do that. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. They can, they can probably, what? <laughs> it was currently under siege? No, it wasn't. Okay, well, whatever the case. Now what I can do is I can literally level everyone up or I can try to level everyone up and then we'll 
provide them. Oh yeah, give me all those. Yes, get all those weapons. Very nice to see these guys actually gain some weapons for once. There we go. Nice. Okay, that is pretty cool. And I think we can... Yeah, these guys are fine. Yeah, they... What is this? Ah, that's a... Mm, female civilian fighters are not exactly great. As well as the militia. They have very low proficiency, so it's very, very difficult for them to actually use weapons that you would want them to use. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take them all out there and I'm, I'll put them into a garrison somewhere because I think they're probably going to be really good for that. But the fighter captains are good too, so we can kind of just leave them the way they are. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see what happens with Berezno. Oh, no, I... What? Uh, watch yourself, we're out, of, out on patrol. I... What? I didn't even click on that guy. Where, where is he? Okay, weird. Anyway, hopefully Berezno will come under siege relatively soon. I'm going to increase my leadership now and increase my assault rifle proficiency a little bit more just in case and what we want to do is we want to sign a trade treaty with the Atoll Federation. Posner Battalion is also getting relatively friendly with us as well which I very much appreciate. Kind of surprised my uh, companions are not attacking uh they i have i have done it they they are ah there we go they're, they're near near babin at the moment which not entirely sure okay what's this we must not make hasty decisions for immediate profit oh are you serious right now okay well sure have that uh I, i'm kind of sad about that now because i thought that would have been really really cool oh well never mind okay so let's just let's just all Let's just all muster them real quick. There we go. And then we'll cancel that attack. And then we'll tell them to attack again. And then we'll see whether that makes any difference. Maybe that makes a difference. Otherwise, we're just going to pay our... Uh, mm, we don't know. Well, we have enough. Yeah, we have enough to be able to pay. Just about. And I think I might actually... Hmm. I might actually need to do something else first before we are actually able to go and do that. Going to ask for another trade treaty. Maybe I need more relation with them to be able to make that work. There we go. They actually did it this time around. Okay, fantastic. That's really, really good. That means that I will be able to go to my trade here. And we can actually start trading with all of them. Yes, all of them. Very nice. And Smolyanka can also do the same thing. Let's take all of this stuff to Zoria. Nice. Seems good to me. All right, so that's fantastic. I think we're doing really, really well right here. And the only thing that we need to do now is take over Berezno. And then we will be in a really, really good position. And as you can see right here, I can actually ask for a trade treaty with the Posner Battalion as well. I'm going to try to do that. And we'll see whether it makes... Nah, they're not going to do that. Oh, well, never mind. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.